four exercises. Lats. Work these bad boys here. Boom. All right, the goal is focusing on your lats. You're gonna need cable system for this. This is a gym exercise, unless you have cables at home, but you wanna work on your lats. This is gonna nail those, those latimus dorsi, okay? You're gonna work your rhomboids as well, but it's gonna be primarily lats. Uh, pay, pay real close attention to shoulder position as I do all these exercises. What we don't wanna do is we never wanna be internally rotated or raised up, right? We always wanna stay back and down, retract and depress those shoulder blades throughout the entire, all these exercises, right? That's gonna allow you to accentuate and isolate the lats, right? So we can go here, boom, yeah. We're gonna work the lats all inside here. So it's gonna be great, great exercises, enjoy, and hit the subscribe button, love to have you on the team. All right, peace. Exercise number one is a single arm sideways lat pull. You really wanna get the deep, deep part of your lat on this, okay? That's your insertion point. You wanna get down as low as you can. If you're not feeling it in the insertion point, which is right around here for your lat, then you're not doing it right, okay? As always, sit on the heels, interior pelvic tilt. We don't wanna be on our toes and let our body do this. This is not, this is not effective at all. I mean, it come, works it a little bit, but your, your torso is not working, it's not stabilized, you're not gonna be able to do nearly as much weight. Now, it's not how much weight you do, it's the quality of work, not the quantity of the weight or the quantity of the reps, it's the quality of your work, okay? Every time you lift, you wanna make sure you hit that, well, this one, hit your lats. Now, see, when I'm, when I'm right here, I can feel, I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel the insertion point, like right here. My lats are activated here, okay? That's what you want. Shoulders are retracted and depressed. What I don't wanna do, see internal rotation? This is not good, we don't wanna do that, right? So we don't wanna pull like this. See a lot of this stuff and it's just not good. Now the grip, you wanna have a neutral grip here. And as you come in, you wanna slightly, this is supination here, like you're holding a can of soup or a bowl of soup. So you wanna go slight supination. You don't wanna go all the way. See my hips come forward when I do that. So I wanna come slightly supinated. Neutral, slightly supinated. Neutral, slightly supinated. It's like this, all right. Chest up, shoulders back. Sit on the hips, anterior pelvic tilt. 80% of your weight's on your heels, almost 90, because that's your base, your heels, right? Slight, always slight bend your knee, don't lock your knees. Chest up, shoulders back. Natural horizons here, you wanna be up a little bit, and then pull. Range of motion is not actually that much, but as you pull, see I'm pulling the, my elbow to my body, here. A little bit behind my body, right? What you don't wanna do is be close enough to the, that you stop it. You don't wanna be close enough to the, the cable system that you rest, right? You wanna keep farther away enough, you're getting full range and you're stopping the weight, not the machine. Chest up, shoulders back, sideways lap pull. See my shoulders stay even, this is the key I was talking about. Shoulders stay flat the entire time. Boom, here. This hand, here, don't put your hand here. It's gonna internally rotate, you'll eventually start doing this. It's not good. You wanna see chest up, shoulders back, and pull. Now this, man, I can feel that all the way in there. You should feel your bicep too. I feel it on my bicep as well. See here, neutral, slightly supinated. Neutral, slightly supinated. Neutral, slightly supinated. And that is a single arm lat pull. Exercise number two is wide grip, lat pull down, okay? This is gonna be different than regular grip here. You wanna go as wide as possible. If this bar was even wider, I'd go even wider. That, when you go wider out, it sh shortens your range of motion. That's okay. Again, the sole theme with this, all, this video here is to work your lats, right? Focus on your latimus dorsi and really get the meat of it right here. That muscle right there, boom. You wanna get the, if you're not feeling this in like the insertion point, point at the bottom part of your lats, you're not doing these exercises right. And again, that takes time, right? So when you're doing these exercises, just kind of make a mental note. Think through the movement that you're actually gonna work that here, okay? Now, I'm gonna grab as wide as I can, come down, chest up, shoulders back. Now, I'm not gonna be, my hips, I'm not gonna be at 90 degrees. So I don't want a 90 degree angle in my hip complex, meaning, Meaning I don't want to be sitting straight up here. I want to angle back about 100 degrees, okay? Also, I want to push on my heels and my knees, my knee, I want to have a 95 to 100 degree angle in my knee complex. So my knees here, I want it out a little bit. Here's my foot, here's my hips. I want to have my feet out a little bit like this, okay? That's going to allow you to push on those heels and engage your posterior chain, your glutes, and your whole erector spinae area, and your hamstrings and your glutes are going to stabilize your spine, right? So 100, 100 degrees back, not 90. If I go to 90, what's going to happen is I'm coming here and I'm going to end up pulling. See, I'm going to internally rotate my shoulders. That doesn't work your lats at all. So I don't want to do that. Now, see, it pops my shoulder when I show that exercise incorrectly. So 
push on your heels to stabilize. You want a 95 to 100 degree angle in your knee complex, right here. And you're gonna have 100 degrees back. Boom. Chest up, shoulders back. See it white, your lat should be popping out here, right about here. So pulling. And this is lats. I can feel that right in the base of my lats. Chest up, shoulders back. Now see my eyes and my chin are up. I'm not looking down or forward here. I'm looking up. Natural horizon is here. I want to look about 10 to 50 degrees above and pull. And pull. And pull. There we go. And that, I can feel that big time in my lats. Again, you got to feel it right here, okay? You don't want to feel, you feel it here in the upper part, but you really want to feel it deep into your lats. And that is a wide grip lat pull down. Awesome. All right, so this is a standing cable lat press down. I'm gonna use handle attached for this time. You can use a flat bar, you can use a rope, you can use whatever you want, but I'm doing it with the cables because, or the handles, because I'm gonna show you, you let you get a little bit more range of motion here. So this is not a tricep exercise, not a tricep exercise, it's for lats. Now, if you're not feeling your lats, that's okay, but you should feel it right all the way down and the insertion point, all the meat of the lat. You wanna feel this exercise there. If you don't feel it there, it's okay, but I want you to make your mind-body connection. So as you're doing this exercise, think about your lat and think about it working as you're doing it. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna start from the ground up, meaning we gotta get a good base. Boom, here, sit on those heels, and I'll show you why. This weight, I made it not real heavy, but heavy enough that it's gonna naturally pull me forward, right? Automatically pulls me forward. If I let it, if I go on my toes, it's gonna pull me forward. We don't want that. We just stay on the heels. 90% of your weight on your heels, and now see my hips. Boom. I'm gonna sit back on my hips. Anterior pelvic tilt. Use your glutes to stabilize your upper torso. Boom, here. Keep your abs tight as usual. You'll feel this in your abs too. Chest up, shoulder raised back. Now keep your arms straight, not locked, but straight, okay? Now with your with the grips here, you wanna go on the inside. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna, you wanna hook grip it. I'll show you why. Chest up, shoulders back. Natural horizons here, always up a little bit. Keep your shoulders flat. You don't want your shoulders to come up here, right? Chest up, shoulders back, and push. One, two. Now I can feel that in my lats. And that's what you want. See, I'm pushing on my heels, because if I go, if I don't, I'm gonna shoot forward and let the weight pull me forward. We don't want to do that. So here, pop, one, two. See that I'm feeling my lats big time. See my shoulders are not coming up here, right? Keep them flat. Retract and press those shoulder blades. And that is a lat, I'm <laughs> looking at my thing, standing cable lat press down. I had to look at my notes. All right, hope that helps, boom. All right, exercise number cuatro. So, physio ball overhead lat pull. Use whatever weight you want. Uh, start lighter and go heavier. Don't start super heavy. Um, this is gonna be awesome for the lats. Now this physio ball here is not pumped up all the way, so hopefully your physio ball is pumped up a little bit more, but that's okay, this will work too. Now the key is to make sure your knees don't go past your toes when you're doing this exercise. You cannot have a good base on this exercise if your knees are over your toes. I'll show you just a second here. Make sure your hips stay up the entire time so it's a plank position, okay? When your body is here, you wanna plank. You don't wanna let your hips drop. They're gonna drop a little bit, but try to plank it as much as possible. You do that by squeezing your glutes, okay? Really, really important on this exercise to squeeze your glutes the entire time you do this lift, as well as your abdominals, right? Now your abdominals, you don't wanna squeeze, you just wanna keep them activated, right? So tight a little bit, but you wanna squeeze the heck out of your glutes, right? Now, I'm gonna go over my head here. This is the exercise here. Now this is 15 kilos, so it's around 32 pounds or something like that. There we go. Damn! Here, now, hand grip, I like to go here. You can use whatever grip you want, here. Boom. Retract and press those shoulder blades. See the difference here? I don't want to start here. I don't know if you can hear that. You want to stay, you want to stay here. Retract and press those shoulder blades the entire time. Starting position is over the head. Now I'm gonna raise my hips. Let your head rest. Don't let your head come here. And I might do this because I'm talking to the camera, but you want to let your head rest when you do this. Not all the way back, but you want to keep it, basically you don't want to tighten your neck, right? That's gonna put a lot of undue stress on your cervical spine. We don't want that. So chest up, shoulders back, drop it. Keep the hips, squeeze the glutes, and then here. 
Now, when you come down, you want to come a little bit above parallel with the ground with your arms and then up one. Now, when you come up, you want to squeeze your pecs, squeeze the center of your pecs, the inside part of your pecs. Now, when you come down, it's your lat supreme mover, it's latimus dorsi, right? So you're gonna, you can feel it stretching, and pulling right here. Man, it's pulling, pulling. Maybe go about parallel, maybe even a little bit lower if you want. It depends on your uh, flexibility. Boom, chest up, shoulders back, and yeah. Hips up, and this is what it looks like. Four. See, my hips are up. What I don't want to do, see my body and my hips, we don't want to do this. Let our hips drop. That looks horrible. So I want to keep the hips up. Push on the heels, not on the toes. Push those heels into the ground. That's your base. That's going to keep you from rolling backwards. Boom. Here. Now when you come up, I'm coming right about a little bit above my chin, a little bit below my chin, but what I don't want to do is come to my chest again. That rests the weight. You want to keep it constant, continuous tension on the muscle by not resting it. So right there, I can feel my lats still working. And my lats are still working. Boom, and that's it. That is a physio ball, dumbbell, lat pullover. Four exercises for lats, hope that helped. Now the key on these, all these exercises is you wanna focus on your lats, right? Really feel it in the lowest part of your lats. If you're not feeling it there, then you're not doing these right. You know what, and that's okay that you're not feeling them 100% there, but as you're doing these, the whole goal is to be more neurally aware of your own body, right? That's how you really emphasize the muscle. Like some of the greatest bodybuilders of all time talk about being able to feel the work, and Arnold Schwarzenegger said, he uh, felt the each fiber tear and stuff like that. So the goal is, in, the, in that muscle, is when you're doing all of these exercises, make sure on the lat, you feel the insertion point here, all the way down, right? You're feeling that. You can feel up here too, for sure, but you wanna make sure you really get that, that emphasis down in here, and that's, that's what these exercises are for. This, this whole video is about hitting those lats hard and effectively, so hope that helps. I've got another video here for a back workout, back and bicep workout right here for you, and then I got a whole playlist for you right here. Subscribe too, man, love to have you on the team. Please subscribe uh, and hit your notif turn your notifications on. And again, watch the video up here or a playlist down here. Either one, your choice. All right, thanks so much. Hope that helps. Peace. Awesome.